Welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing slash review of the new vertical Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video of the horizontal planner, I will link that uh, down below so you can check that one out um, so you can kind of see both layouts. I think after this I'm going to do a comparison of the two kind of like side by side together so you guys can see the differences of them while they're sitting next to each other. Um, I did get the ready to ship planner so um, it's not personalized or anything like that. This order I did get some accessories so I'll show you guys those in this video as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay so we're gonna start with the markers. I did get the Live Life in Color markers. They come in this little plastic case that um, opens up and then each pen is inside um, like a little little area for it to sit in. This is what the pen tip looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that. Sorry for the glare. It's like 7 o'clock um, in the evening, so the sun is going down. Uh, but this is where the best lighting is. So um, I did do a test of the colors. And this is what they look like. Uh, they're not anything special. I prefer my Stedlers and my Sharpie pens over these, but I do like that blue aqua color. And these do not bleed through, so that is really nice. I also got the new um, colors of the Keep It Together bands. There is a burnt orange color, a dark purple, and a pink. I really like these bands. Uh, I like to use them to keep my planner and my notebooks together because I have a tendency to shove pieces of paper inside of my pages and these planner bands really make sure that everything stays inside. I have all of the different colors that Erin offers um, and I like to change them up depending upon my cover. So I'm excited to use this burnt orange color uh, with my Halloween cover. I already took this out of the planner just because I already filled in the other one that I got but this is the perpetual calendar that you get with every planner that you purchase. Um, if you guys want to see this then go over and check out my horizontal review. Uh, I did go into this on in that video. And then of course with this order I did get the little freebies on top. I got a sticker, a postcard, I got my ordered number 10 card, and I got my free personalized cover code. And I did purchase one of the launch bundles. So that came with the markers, it came with um, a sticker book, and it also came with this clear pouch. Now as you can see I've already filled this clear pouch. Um, these are all of my stickers that I've purchased off Etsy minus the ones that I'm still waiting on in the mail. So I did order two of the sticker books. So and I have one in here that's already out of the package that I'm going to show you. This right here is perfect to put your stickers in by the way. I don't like how jumbled they are and I'm not going to keep them in here but this is a really nice way uh, for me to put them somewhere until I figure out how I'm going to organize them. So this is the book that um, comes in plastic wrapping. And then here is the one that I have already opened. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through for you guys so you can see all the um, different stickers. Now I will say one thing about this. It totally stinks. I have no idea what the smell is of this book, but it smells so bad. I really, I, I don't know what it is. It's awful. But these stickers are really, really nice. The quality of them is nice. I really love the foiling on it. There's gold, gold foil and silver foil. These are all perfect sizes to fit in the boxes. Um, it's just a really, really nice assortment. That's why I ordered two of them because I knew that I was going to be using these and I wanted to have a backup because, you know, it takes a long time to get your shipments from Erin Condren sometimes, especially around launch time and when people are ordering. Um, so that's all the stickers that you get in that packet. Okay, so now time for the good stuff. This is the Ready to Ship Vertical Layout 2015-2016 Erin Condren Life Planner. I am not going to go into huge detail about the things that are the same in the horizontal planner since I did just do a video on that. If you guys want to uh, know about the um, year at a glance, the uh, monthly pages, etc., if you want to know about all that more in depth, the um, 
the clear pocket in the back, etc. All of that is in detail on my horizontal layout video. I just don't want to be repetitive and repeat all that in this same video. Um, that video is linked down below, so make sure you go and watch that. Uh, maybe before this, that way you kind of know about those areas before we go into it. So this is the uh, cover that you get with the ready to ship. I did not get the rose gold edition, obviously. Um, I'm totally fine with the silver edition. Now, um, disclaimer, I already have tried to fix the coils on this. When it came, the coils, uh, they really just did not look good. I took pictures of them. I sent them to customer service. I feel like they need to be aware of the mistakes that they're making so they can, you know, fix them. That way not everybody will have to deal with this, you know, as they send out more and more planners. Um, I have had my husband try to bend and reshape some of the coils. I think he did a pretty good job. Is it perfect? No. Is it a big deal? Not really. Um, however, my uh, horizontal planner that I showed you, we cannot get the coils on that to look right. One of them is bent so wonky and we just cannot fix it. So, But this one does not look that bad. So the inside of the cover is this really awesome like chevron print and it's the same on the back right there so i think what i'm gonna do is actually flip this around and have this part as my actual cover because i really really like this design so as you can see there is a vellum overlay here for the vertical as well and like i said i'm going to do a comparison of the vertical and the horizontal and show you the differences in the color schemes the fonts etc so you'll be able to see the differences between those two in another video again you have your front page um, it says vertical weekly layout it has a place for you to put your name your phone number your email any way to contact you in case you happen to lose your planner then you have kind of like your um I think of this as a welcome page. So it's just got some really nice designs around the side. It is graph paper or grid paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it has a couple quotes. And then your first little tab right here is 2015, 2016. And this is just the um, 18 months at a glance. Um, like I said in my horizontal video, there are tons of ways that you could use this. I'll go over and check that video out um, to see the ideas that I have. And then um, you also have the pages right here that have six boxes on each side that you can use in any way, shape, or form um, to track certain things, use it as a yearly, um, anything you want really. So this is really awesome. I think the colors are just different from the horizontal. And then you have your first notes page. And you will notice that these are a solid color uh, with a quote on the cover page for the month um, in the old planner, which I will show you. Where's July? There is no cover page. It just goes straight from your last day of um, before July and it goes straight into the monthly layout. So um, you turn the page over and this is your um, monthly overview. As you can see, I've already decorated a little bit. I did get my planner um, yesterday. So last night when I was in bed watching some TV, I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of decorating. Again, you do get one of the new Party Pops rulers, which I love these. So as you can see, um, there is no quote at the top. Here is the uh, 2014 to 2015 edition and you can see there's a quote up here on the top this area right here says notes right here it says goals you can't see it because I've covered it up let me turn to a new one see how it says goals right here instead of notes let's turn back and then that's really the only difference between the two um there's let me try to uh let's put it like this so you can tell um, the fonts are the same, the colors are the same, uh, just no quote, really. Everything else is pretty much the same. And on here, they've added some dots around the um, edges of the goal section, I guess, to just add a little bit of pop of color since there's no quote on there. Now, real quickly, before we get into the vertical layout and show you the differences, I'm just going to flip real quick. I'm going to speed up the video to flip through and show you guys all of the cover pages for each month.
quick, I'm just gonna show you a monthly layout that I have not added into. Um, I did add a little bit into August. I added a couple things into September. October is blank, so I just wanna give you a quick overview of the blank page. Um, like I said, it says goals right here. There are some party pops around the top and bottom that match the color scheme for the month. Uh, again, no quote at the top. And then just the holidays and moons are filled in on the monthly layout. So let's go ahead and check out the new weekly layout. Ah. Oh my gosh. I just think this is so nice. It's so much simpler. It's so much neater. It allows for more creativity. It allows for more personalization. I just really, really, really love it. Um, you do have a space at the top here that says thankful thoughts. So there's a little square up here. Um, and then you have a listing right here that you can label any way that you want right here in this um, kind of permanent flag area. You do still have your section for notes along the bottom. You can use it as consecutive notes in a line or you can use it as this little area for this day, this area for this day, and so on. The dates at the top are a little different. Before it was kind of overlapping a little bit. I much prefer it this way. I think um, those of us in the planner community that like to track the weather can track the weather right above where it says the day of the week. So that's really neat. Also, the big change is that the headings are no longer morning, day, and night, which I think is great. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Personally, I don't use morning, day, and night because I work a full-time job from uh, 8 to 5 every day. So morning and day are kind of already taken for because I go to work um, usually between 7.30 and 8 o'clock in the morning and I don't get home until 5.30 at night. So my entire morning and day would be completely shot. There would be no reason for this section up here. But now with this layout, I'm able to customize this any way that I want. So for instance, I can use the top section for work and then if I have a meeting or a webinar or something that I have to do for work, I can put that in this section. I could use the next section for uh, like home to do's if I needed to vacuum or do a load of laundry or something like that when I got home from work. And then I could use this bottom section as a running list of to do's like general to do's or errands to run. And I have the um, option to change that around every day. So if I don't have anything going on for work that day, I am not going to label this box work because I'm just going to waste that space. So then if I had didn't have anything going on, I could label it home, health, and to do. So then I could put my chores up here. I could put anything that I did fitness related in here, you know, track um, my workouts or whatever. And then I could do my running list of to do down here. So I really love this layout. I just think it's a really neat way um, to be able to customize your planner even more for yourself. And I also really love this little flag area up here that has the um, month on it. I just think that is so neat. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you guys can see this in the camera, but I wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two different monthly layouts. I'm, I'm maybe going to flip the pages over and show you a different way to see if that's better, but I wanted you to be able to see the many changes between the two. I have it zoomed in as much as I can to be able to show the two planners, so hopefully this is okay. If not, I'm going to try another way. Um, as you can see here, the um, little mini calendar in the corner has been replaced by the thankful thought where it says weekly goals and notes. They've just put a flag and a place to leave it blank. These dots are no longer running down the side where it says meal plans, exercise, daily dues, thoughts, inspiration, lists. That is no longer listed at the bottom here. You can see the difference in the date. As you can see, the date is really big and the day of the week is written through the date in really like colors. And then of course the morning, day, and night has been taken off. So I'm gonna flip this over here. And I just had that covered up on this side um, because we are going on a trip somewhere and I didn't want to show you the address. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, so that's a little bit better. You guys can clearly see the differences. These are the exact same weeks um, in the 2014-2015 planner and the 2015-2016 planner. Um, I really prefer this layout. I just think it's really nice, really clean, 
um, so customizable. I just, I just really love it. I can't say anything more about it. I just really, really love it. So, let me make sure I'm in frame here. Yep. Okay. So, after all of your months, which all of the, um, weeks coincide with the color scheme for the month. So, like, this is a teal and brown. So, everything in your weekly um, coincides with that, too. And I really like how the color kind of fades out. It goes from light to dark. It's not all one color. I think that's really cool, too. Now, when you get to the end of your planner, it goes into your notes pages. You can see, um, if you watch the other video, how these are different from the horizontal. And again, I'm going to do a comparison. They just have the... Um, the block of color at the front here so you have all of your notes pages then you go into your graph paper which again just has a really nice drawn on design um, this has it on the top and the bottom and then you have your blank pages but this is really pretty with the butterflies at the top and then the jolly jester print and the um, pops uh, then you have your 2017 year at a glance calendar just like the horizontal. Um, your stickers are going to be different colors in this planner than your horizontal but they are the same stickers. Your blank stickers. And then as I said before I'm not going to go over these in this video um, because I did go over them in the horizontal. But you have your folder and you have your little clear pouch in the back. So that is a review, an uh, overview sort of, of the um, vertical layout for the new Erin Condren Life Planner. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them for you or find answers for you if I don't happen to know the answer. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope that this video helps you make your decision on which planner that you'd like to get. Um, one thing I'd like to say is that I know a lot of the Erin Condren products are coming out with problems. Uh, a lot of people's coils are messed up. Like I said, mine was messed up. Actually, um, I'll show you guys here, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but can you see all that? All of the plastic that's on the pages to protect it from the coil is all sticking out at the bottom. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to show it in the camera, but it's all sticking out at the bottom. It's not a huge deal, but when you pay $50 for a planner, you kind of expect it to be perfect. Um, but you know, I'd just like to say to everybody that um, I really love Erin Condon products. I think they are really of good quality. I think that um, when she does these launches, um, perhaps maybe some of the people that are working for her are trying to work so fast to get our planners to us so fast that they make mistakes. I truly feel like they really try to um, help rectify any situation, you know, any problem with your planner. I know that doesn't happen all the time. There are always going to be a few duds in every um, company that don't want to help or, you know, I, I don't know, but I really stand by Erin Condren products. I have a lot of them. I'm placing another order with my 10th um, order coupon. I just really enjoy her products, guys. I really highly recommend her. There's a coupon code in the description box for $10 off your first purchase, so feel free to use that if you are new to Erin Condren. If you're not new to Erin Condren, then I'm sure you already know how fabulous her products are. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. I have a uh, review, not a review, I have a comparison of the vertical versus horizontal. And then I also will be doing my first plan with me um, maybe next week. I uh, might plan early for the following week. So, And then I'm also doing a what's in our pool slash beach bag video. So lots of fun stuff coming up, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, share. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.